make sure we record this. He was one of the only people who was actually in the Forex space and the network marketing space before it ever became popular. He was doing something before it was popular. He was doing something that had not yet been done. And he was definitely impacting the millennials. This guy has done uh, what a lot of people only dream to do. He's at the top of the company here in iMarkets Live. Once again, before iMarkets Live was ever popular, probably about five years ago, uh, Christopher Terry found him. He sought him out and he got a phone call and he'll tell you a little bit about that story. And they were able to work together. He came on board because he saw that Christopher Terry was the real deal. He saw that this wasn't a man that just had an idea about a concept. He really was a trader. He uh, saw that he can learn from Christopher Terry in his expertise. And so not only did he come to the table, uh, but he brought everybody, all the influencers, every name that you could think of is connected to this man's organization. And so we're just very grateful to be connected to su such a profound leader uh, in this industry, also in this company. And so I wanted to introduce to some and present to others. We know him also by Rich Off The Net because he is a major influencer on Instagram, pulling big, big numbers in. You may have seen him on The Shade Room. You may have seen him on uh, it was a, it's another one that I told you to tell me the name of it. I know I have it on Instagram, but he's definitely a big deal, making some big, big day, things happen. And I'm just honored that he's the brother to us here, my husband and I. I'm excited about the leadership. I can see just the growth and development. And uh, I'm excited about both what he is doing as well as Lovely Mag. So I introduced the song, present to others, none other than Mr. Garrett Roberts, Rich Off The Net, Chairman 100, right here in our Marcus Live. What's going on, G Money? Yo, 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 how you, how you doing, China? How's I'm, everything? I'm doing amazing tonight. Really, really excited about what we have happening here. You already know the Breakfast Club is lit, and we're just getting, getting started. We're just beginning. Guys, before Gary get in here, go ahead and show him some love in the chat. Put your threes in the chat. Show Mr. Gary Roberts some love. Let me find you on here so that we can make you. Here we go on here and let us know if Meg is going to be on with us tonight as well. But put your threes in the chat and show them some love tonight. And also get your team members on here. Let them know G-Money's in the house. Go right ahead, G, take it away. What's going on, everybody? I definitely want to say thank you, Tina, for having me. Guys, you are so lucky uh, to have the leadership you guys have uh, in China. She definitely is pouring into everybody. Uh, guys, if you're not taking advantage of what she put together uh, with some of the other leaders with the Breakfast Club, you've definitely been missing out. No matter how early you have to get up, it is worth it. They're literally giving out money every single day. Uh, you got Randy, Kathy actually calling out trades. So it doesn't matter if you're experienced in trading, non-experienced, just got started, heard of trading before, never heard of it. There's been people making money. I don't want to quote the record but I believe the record is like 25 and 26, maybe. I want to throw maybe one L. I don't know. I don't know. China, maybe you could correct me yeah, if I'm wrong. Yeah. Last time. We were a I, couple of days ago, 28 for 28 trades. Um, and I think it's because, once again, we, we help you with the stop loss thing. So even if something would have normally hit a stop loss, we are literally showing you how to take a risk free trade. And so the strategy is amazing. And even if you knew and don't know nothing about this, like literally you can just get in and follow direction and start making money with us. No, absolutely. So it's definitely a plug-in system, but it's not only a system to help you profit, guys. It's actually a system to help your business profit, right? In IML, we have so many tools that help us profit. Sometimes we forget those are actually tools to help run our business also. Having multiple leaders, having multiple success stories, having interviews, having uh, success stories being told on the on the uh, breakfast club every morning before they even get into the trading part is a free tool you can utilize to build your business, right? So we're not just doing this for our health. We're not just hopping on every morning just to be on there. This is literally a tool you guys can utilize that leaders are actually going the extra route uh, to get you paid. So China, I am definitely excited to be on this call. Uh, you know, I tremendously uh, respect you for everything you do. All the new people just know you're being led by the right woman. For someone that's literally broken record, somebody that has the success in here, someone that's built through the trials and errors in business, the, the ups and downs of business, never quit, always coming with the energy, always in phase one always helping people duplicate, always pouring into people. That's your leader. So it's definitely an honor to be on here. There's a team huddle up. 
Uh, I'm excited. A uh, little bit about me, if you don't know about me already. Uh, China kind of gave a little background about me. Uh, I was actually one of the first people to launch this amazing platform, uh, if not the first person to launch this amazing platform, with really just the vision of connecting network marketing with trade. You know, I've been in network marketing going on seven years, seven years now, and I've been in the trading profession for seven years. I was one of the guys that paid the thousands and thousands of dollars for one video of training. I was one of the guys back in the day where they were telling you, hey, real traders don't post MetaTrader 4s. Real traders don't even use MetaTrader 4. Uh, that's kind of the era that we came up in, and now it's such a big thing. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's talking about it. You have companies popping up left and right trying to implement the, the trading into network marketing. But the reason why what we have here works is because when I got started with this company, I didn't come in, you know, really from a network marketing view. I was looking from a trader view. I was looking from a tired networker looking to catapult all the way into the trading profession because I was tired of network marketing. I was tired of the owners that weren't in the field, the owners that really didn't care about the people. I was kind of just tired of the same old, same old, selling products that I really never used, right? And so when I knew about trade, I was like, wow, if somebody ever mixes the two uh, industries, we will have a undeniable product. We will have an undeniable company. And, and six years later, five years later, seven years later, uh, seven years from that dream, but five years being an IML, we literally have that today, guys. We literally have a groundbreaking product that you can say, you know what, I'm going into business with a real plan. I'm going into business with a real business plan, not a 10-year, 20-year business plan. I'm coming into business with the mindset, low investment, successful business plan in the next two years. That's what we literally have. And it's not because we're superstars. It's not because we're the greatest networkers ever. It's because we're the first company with an undeniable product. No matter who you're talking to, a grandma, mama, cousin, brother, uncle, bro man from the fifth floor. It doesn't matter who you're talking to. Everybody can utilize what we're offering. Because when we walk out in the street, only thing we're asking people, do you want to make money or make money? Do you want to make money or learn the skill set on how to make money? Do you want to learn the skill set on how to make money or share that skill set with other people and make more money? There's only two things you can do here. And so when you go out in the field, you know, hey, this is an undeniable service. This is an undeniable product. It's definitely been a blessing for me, guys. But like literally getting started in this, this business, I didn't know it was going to become the IML we have today. Like literally, I joined just to trade futures with Chris. That was my goal. Hey, I want to hit... 5k a month maybe so I can trade futures so I can throw the whole 5k in in a futures account and trade with Chris that was the original goal we never knew what it was going to turn into but it just shows you what the world is turn, turning into what network marketing is turning into what the what what uh and the investment world is turning into you have people like me where I can literally pull up the markets right now and tell you what the next five, 10 years is going to look like. I can really pull up the markets right now and tell you what the next five, 10 years is going to look like financially and what side of that market you better be on. I can literally tell you that. And this is coming from somebody that didn't grow up in wealth, didn't grow up in the markets, didn't grow up with someone to teach them the markets. No, this is coming from someone who lived a very rough past, went through a lot of things as a, in my childhood and still made the decision to say, this isn't it. There's more out there to learn. I can be more, regardless of what people tell me, I can learn what the successful people are doing. They're not hiding it anymore. It's all in the books. It's all on YouTube University. But it's up to us to go out and get that information. It's up for us to get on calls like this and plug in the stuff that we hear to call. If they say, hey, we're doing calls every morning and we're giving out trades of the biggest market in the world you can either make an excuse or make sure you're up at eight o'clock every morning because you know if you wake up at eight o'clock every morning you got somebody on there that's 28 for 28 28 for 28 and so i know a lot of you probably on this call you're like yo you know i really want to learn trading the first part of learning trading is knowing there's no learning trading 
I, I kind of messed some of y'all up right there, right? Oh, gee, you the gotta first go part. Into, you gotta go into that right there. You gotta, you gotta hit them with that the one. Right the first part of learning trading is understanding. You can't learn trading. The only thing you can learn is what works for you. Only thing you can learn is what helps you get deposits. Only thing you can learn is hmm. 2 a.m. 2 a. to 6 a.m., I usually win. Uh, if I continue to trade after 12, I usually lose. That's you learning trade. Hmm. When I trade Euro USD, it'd be an easy win. When I hop on New Zealand pairs and trade US 30, I blow my whole account. That's you learning trading. Some of you are thinking you have to learn A through Z, when really all you got to learn is maybe A and a little bit of B, or maybe skip A and B and go straight to C. And that can make you a millionaire. You don't need A, B, C, D all the way to Z, right? So understanding trade, I know a lot of you might be new. I see a lot of new faces that I've never seen before. And that's why I really wanted to get into this point because a lot of you are coming in saying, I want to learn trade. I can't share this with nobody till I learn trade. I'm not confident in the system just because I'm making profits off of bounce back, just because I'm making profits off of EC11, just because I'm making profits, I'm still not comfortable sharing it. Because guess what? I don't get it. You're not going to get it. You want to know why? You're not going to get it. No time. So I tell people all the time, trading is a one to two year, three year build in your mind. Because the only thing trading means is you remember what worked and you remember what don't work. You can't remember something you've been doing for 10 days. You can't remember something you've been doing 20 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 100, maybe 180 days. You can be all right at trading if you did it every single day. If you studied it every single day, almost all day, maybe you can compress the time into 180 days. But unless you're studying all day, every day, on IML TV all day, every day, there's, it's impossible to learn trading in less than a year. But what you can learn is how to be a profitable follower. Do you really care about knowing the fancy words of trading that much? Do you really care? Fibonacci, Hibonacci, Kamasaki, who cares, right? Who cares? Only thing that matters, because I know a lot of fancy traders that know all the terms, all the everything, and they haven't done a withdrawal in their life. Which one do you want to be? Which one do you want to be? So understanding, getting into the system, you have to understand, okay, I knew nothing about trading before I got started, or maybe I knew a little bit. But now I'm in a situation where I have a long-term college platform to learn the real ins and outs of trading. But while I'm going through this college, I have the opportunity to be the cheater of the year. I have the opportunity to be the most paid cheater on the earth. I know your mama taught you cheating is bad, not here. I know the teachers hit you on your hand because you were cheat. Not here. You cheat here, and you cheat off the right person, your mama's going to hug you and kiss you and love you and tell you to go cheat some more and tell her, tell you to put her on so she can cheat too. That's what's going to happen, right? That's what you need to understand. You're, you're not here to master trading right away. Take your time. Because the honest truth, the more you learn, the harder it gets. The more you learn about trading, the harder it gets. When I first signed up to trade, I was clicking buttons up all night seeing blue. I don't know what I was doing. They said when the lines cross and this happens, it hits the high day, risk it all, call them in the morning. That's what I did. I was risking it all, high of the day, calling them in the morning, right? So you need to understand that, hey, I don't need to learn trading all the way to be profitable. I don't need to learn trading all the way to share this business with somebody, right? How many people right now feel like I can't share this because I don't know it? Not knowing it is the best position to be in, to share it. Because you not knowing 
most likely means me or China or any of the other leaders have to do most of the work, first of all. If you don't know what to do, and we're doing calls all the time, you should probably utilize the leadership. You should probably use the leadership. China should get so many calls from every single one of y'all to the point she really has to think about blocking. Like, it should be on that type of time. It should be that type of time. When you launching a groundbreaking product, you're launching the only app in the world that you can make. Oh my gosh. We have the only app that you can make money from. I'm not talking about one of them apps. They talking about, yo, are you broke? Get $20 real. No, 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 no. We talking about an app you can really make money from, right? In the app era. Where the app era, where 95% of the people in the app era doesn't even know this exists. No offense, you're in a business where you can position yourself as a business owner with a product that 95% of the world wants, 95% of the world needs, 95% of the world is living off of, but no, 95% of the world doesn't even know it exists. You have the opportunity to sell that product, but you'd rather go around saying, oh, I want to be a business owner. I'm trying to open up a cell phone store. It's not 05. It's not 2000. It's not 2008. There's people, you got to realize it, it's living on the internet. You don't have to pay 20,000, 50,000, 100. You know, people are not even opening hair stores no more for real. Some of the biggest barbers I know don't even have barbershops no more. You have to really understand the world we're in right now. And we have the biggest product. We have the best product. Uh, you know why I call it the best? Because it's undeniable. That's the only reason I call it the best. Can you win and lose? Yes. But can someone deny something that's been hidden from them all their life that they should have knew about? No, not if you explain it to them correctly. Not if you explain it to them correctly. So you need to understand the power of what we're in. It's not to come in here, try to rush learning trading. The, the whole goal, Christopher Terry's vision, like the CEO, his vision as a 40-year-old trader, not 40 years old, he's been trading for like 40 years, right? His vision is to have you learning the skill set, right? Compounding your money and using the money you make to compound it more and sharing your results with other people so they can do the same so you can make more money residually and compound it more my days when i first got started i used to throw a thousand in two thousand here a thousand here and i was sweating like oh i better not lose this or my girl gonna be on me in the morning that's how I was. But now it's like, you know, the, it's a total different feeling. Yeah, I feel like trading. I think I want to throw 50000 in an account. That's a whole different 50000 Might I add, 50000 of Christopher Terry's money. That's a whole different feeling. That's a whole different feeling. Free, future talk about free bands. This is free bands. This is free bands for real. Because you have the opportunity to get a free business and get education of the biggest market for free. It's not for free, it's 200 for free, right? We gotta understand that's for free. The 200 was for your cell phone bill. So you could be in the telegram chats and all that. So right, Jim, that, let's, let's stop right there because you, you want something and that's where we're going because we literally just launched the breakfast club telegram chat and it's already like jumping and we haven't even opened it up yet because what i know is people are literally looking at what we're talking about but it's still so foreign to them they don't understand which is why we created the breakfast club to help it to be a lot simpler but we then understood that when we're on facebook we still have to be mindful so we took it to telegram to give people a little bit of a closer look talk a little bit about the power of a private telegram group where people can really see for themselves how people that they can relate to, whether it's a school teacher, whether it's a single mom, whether it's a father, whether it's a person that dropped out of school and they're winning because I don't know a company that's surviving without 
being able to at least let people see the results that is possible for them. Talk a little bit about that Telegram experience. I know Meg had put something on her Facebook page and I reached out to her right away. I was like, Meg, like this thing's so hot right here. I got to get this. She showed me it was a whole, she said, China is deeper than that. It's a whole system. And she began to run it to me. And I see the numbers already, like the floodgates. We need, like it's to the point right now, G, I was talking to Wanda, you know, big shouts out to Wanda and Randy. They just hit Chairman 25 in this thing. And Wanda said something to me that really boggled my mind. She said, and I remember you saying something similar to me. And this is a powerful place to be in. And you, you can't understand this until you really get to that place. She said to me when it was like 20 people away from hitting Chairman 25, she said, you know what? She said, I really can't even afford to take no new customers right now. I said, what are you talking about? You 20 people away from trade, that's, that's, that's an extra $15,000 a month. You had chairman 10 for 10,000 a month. You 20 people away, it looked like you should be wanting to take anybody. She said, no, I can't take no customers right now working with builders and leaders right now. A customer will slow me down, but you still have to have that system in place so at this point right now, we, we, we got to be, we got to make sure the foundation is laid before you have a bunch of customers coming in. So talk a little bit about the importance of that telegram group and having the systems in place because people can come in the door, but if they don't get fed properly, it's going to be a revolving door. And there are seasons in your business where you are recruiting machine, where you just bringing people in, but then there are seasons where you're in the cultivating phase, where you're developing leaders because you don't want to bring a bunch of people in, but then nobody's growing up. And so sometimes when you're holding the hands of leaders, like I'm pre-launching a big group right now, I'm not in massive recruiting phase. So we're looking at the people that's coming into the breakfast club, trying to figure out the ones who don't even know how they discovered us, how we divvy them up. And, and they talking about some of we all count us out because we don't need no new customers right now. So talk a little bit about that psychology because I think everybody thinks that every, every, every chapter it's supposed to be just recruit, recruit, recruit. Like, and that's not what it is. It's really the development of leaders. So talk on that a little bit and talk about how well you guys are doing in that Telegram group. We just started one, and I'm excited about the future with it. And I know we've been doing this, but some people are new, and they don't know how powerful that could be for their business. Absolutely. So uh, first thing, let's talk about the Telegrams, right? Uh, telegram groups as far as what we call them are bliss groups and a bliss group is pretty much a scenario where it's a tool like so i'm real big on tools i'm real big on equipping uh our our soldiers our financial soldiers with as many tools they can have right on them so i feel like breakfast club is a tool telegram is a cool a tool what is iml is a tool Launch calls is a tool. Uh, maybe you have a PDF as a tool. Uh, maybe you use IML Elite as a tool. All these things, edifying other people is tools, right? Events are tools. So all these things are tools. So when it comes down to the online space, you have to understand that most people, everybody on this call, most of you, not everybody, but most of you are normal. There's maybe some unnormal people here. But most of you are normal where you had to see the opportunity multiple times. You had to see the opportunity multiple times before you said yes, right? I always talk about uh, training that I, I did uh, probably five years ago about the bubble. The bubble. When you're in recruit mode, there's a bubble, right? There's, there's you, and then you're recruiting these people. You're prospecting these people. And they're telling you, no, 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 no. I think about it, I gotta get the money. And they're going in this bubble and then they're watching you, right? And you have to fill up this bubble till it pops. So that's the scenario for like building your network marketing business, no matter if it's offline or online. The thing about this bubble is I grew up in the era where we used autoresponders. So I grew up in the autoresponder era where people will come to my website, They'll go to a page, they'll put in their name, email, and I had that on a database where I could contact them anytime. But the thing about autoresponders in 2019, people don't check their emails and people are tired of them. Everybody has been on an email campaign that you just wish you never subscribed to, right? So we stopped using autoresponders and we had to make sure this was more 
personal. We wanted this to be more of like a party, a culture. You get to you get to be introduced into the family. You get to not only hear from the persons pitching you, selling you, you get to hear from the people on the back end you're working with. So we started a blitz group. And at first it was made to mainly show profits, right? In the beginning of IML, uh, the blitz groups were mainly to show profits. So this is when we were allowed to like freely show profits, right? So the blitz groups were made to just show profits, show the results. But here's the science behind the blitz group. Here's the science. Right, here's the science. It's way easier to close somebody with multiple multiple people on your side. If you're having trouble right now closing people, here's why. You're trying to do it all by yourself and you're not qualified to do it all by yourself. If you're having trouble closing people, if your mama told you no, you're not qualified. Right. So we came up with a scenario uh, that I really believe by just by being, you know, uh, the seeing every organization. I, I have the, the opportunity to be in a, a beautiful position where I'm able to see every organization, see exactly what's working. Right. And you have to understand that people want a community. People want a community over everything nowadays. People would rather join the community than the company, right? So I, in 2019, in 2012, maybe you've been doing this for a while, right? In 2008, 2012, 2000, uh, them old days, it was all about being hidden. Oh, yeah, I'll show it to you after you sign up. Oh, message me for the details. We could talk privately. Uh, no, them days are over. Some days are over. People are tired of being sold. They're tired of being hyped up, acting like they're not being sold. They're tired of the magical pitch. They just want you to get to the case. They want you to get to what you want to tell. Every person that I bought something off of online is like, all right, here's the sales video. Skip, skip, skip. Where's the checkout page? Because I already know what I came here for. I already know what I'm looking for. I already know what I want to hear. And if I hear it, I'm ready to swipe my card. So with these blitz groups, now you're filling up this bubble. And instead of these people just watching you, because let's be honest, maybe you're moving a little slower. Maybe you have a job. Maybe you're not confident in your lifestyle. Maybe you feel like your lifestyle is not exciting enough to share it, which is wrong in the first place. That's very wrong. But maybe you're kind of like not feeling yourself yet. So if you're not feeling yourself, that doesn't stop your business unless you let it. Because guess what? Here's the truth. Here's the truth for everybody saying, hey, here's the truth. For all the people saying, hey, I can't share the business until I get results. Or people won't join me until I get rich. Or people won't join me until I have a big house. People won't join me until I'm driving my dream car. Guess what? They still won't join you after you get all that stuff. Maybe they might, but they're not the ones you want to bet your business on. Because guess what? Those people will see you get the house, get the car, live the life, go on the trips, and say, good for you, right? So you need to get out the way. Back in the day, it used to be about you, not no more. If you ever hear me in a pitch, you ever hear me in an event, you ever hear me breaking down the company, I talk about everybody but me. You will never hear me say, ever, I'm the top rep in IMF. So it's gonna have to be from somebody else. Because guess what, I mastered saying, hey, yes, I was the first one to join, but I have phenomenal leaders like Dr. Chime that's making $50,000 a month. I have amazing leaders like Jason Brown, that's making $800,000 a month. I have amazing leaders. It's way more powerful to talk about other people than it is to talk about yourself. Because guess what? People don't even care about you like that. Not even your mama, your grandma. They really don't care. If you really start talking about yourself, only thing they're thinking about is good for you. How can you help me? So when we realize this and we really like, realized where sales were going, we said, okay, first things first, 
Instead of putting just us out there, we need to put everything out there. Instead of us hiding what the scanner does on the back end, we need to show it on the front end. Instead of us saying, after you sign up, I'll show you, we say, hey, hop on the Breakfast Club and we'll show you anyway. Or hop on these calls, we'll show you anyway. Or hey, you're interested? Here, take my Zoom. I got 30 minutes. I'll show you exactly what you're gonna get after you sign up. Because if you can make someone comfortable with what they're gonna get after they sign up, they will give you the wallet and tell you to pick the card. They will say, you pick the MasterCard, Visa card, credit, whichever one, not, not Wells Fargo, right? But they will tell you to pick a card, right? So this Blitz group, let me show you exactly how it works. You're trying to recruit people. You're getting no, you're getting no. I'll think about it, I'll think about it, I'll think about it, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. And you're on your journey. You may be new. You may be new in the profession. You don't have any results yet. Uh, you're not getting paid yet. You don't learn trading yet. The only thing you need to know to get someone started in your business is edify another success story and know what you're selling. That's the only thing you need to know here to be successful. To hit chairman, only thing you need to know is edify another success story and know how the services work. And know the power of four breaks. That's the third, okay? Know the power of four Those are the main three things that I use to close every sale. Every sale. Every sale, I don't hear no. I get, I, I, I've made bets with people. Like, yo, give me a list. I guarantee I close 90% of those people on the list. Mm. Guarantee. Because I am confident that the human brain isn't smart enough to think they're smarter than this. The human brain is actually not smart enough to think they're smarter than what the banks are doing. People think they're smart until you sound real smart about finances. You can, you can make somebody be real quiet real quick. Soon as you know the right thing to say with finances, they'll listen. So as you're sharing the business, people might be denying you, sitting here watching you, but if you plug them into a bliss group, now they get to see other people. Now they get to see other people post results. Now they get to see other people rank up. Now they get to hear other people in the group say, oh man, the breakfast club was lit this morning. Now they get to see, hey, post the money bag if you made money today. Now they get to see all the money bags. It's way harder to say no to 500 people in the chat posting money. Back. That's, that's so good, G. Like, you're so on it because, honestly, my cousin called me. My, I know my, I, listen, first of all, they've been following me on Facebook. I've come to every event, you know, for the family functions. They know the kind of money that's being made. They ain't saying the until we launch something where they saw a whole collaboration. Because I think sometimes people feel like, well, you're good at that. That's, that thing is good for you because that's, that's what you do. But when they see other people that they can relate to, it opens them up. And when you drop them in that group, so when she called, I said, listen, I'm going to send you a Telegram group. It's an app that you're going to download on your phone. And you're going to just kind of come in and connect and see what's going on. And it has made the world of a difference. And I know she will be good at this. So, like, my cousin's coming on board. So when they just start helping the family members that you have that never looked at this thing before, you definitely know for a fact that you're on to something. So, G, listen, we're about to wrap up the call. I got some copious notes that I've taken down here. I am always a note taker when you speak. One of the things that you said on the Breakfast Club that was really powerful is that y'all, like, it is so, it's seriously the time to get your money all the way up because at the end of the day, one of the things that you said, G, that six figures is about to be the new minimum wage. And when you said that part right there, like, that changed the game for me. Six figures is about to be the new minimum wage. And so I'm, I'm really grateful for your time, for your energy, for your... Before I go, China, I want to touch on that last question you had. Because okay. I feel, like, I feel like, and I'll be real quick, yeah. right? And I have it already, I did it for somebody today, so I have it already pulled up. So, guys, China, I remember you was kind of saying, what do you say to the people that's like, recruit, 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 recruit? Right, and I feel like a lot of people are in that mode. So first things first, you want to be a recruiter, right? You want to get people into your business, but sometimes you have to go into business building mode, right? And that's pretty much what we call duplication mode. And I'm gonna be real quick, right? 
So first things first, if you're a recruiter, cool, because now you have more lines of business. Now you have more opportunities to find that chairman. But the money isn't made on the people you recruit, right? The real money is digging deep into your organization, digging deep into that recruit. Because the last thing you want to do is spend time trying to recruit somebody just for them to be here for 30 days, asking you questions for 30 days, bugging you for 30 days, you wondering what do they need for 30 days, and the only thing you got was $30. It's not worth it, right? So you need to know before that 30 days is over, your main goal is getting three for one. For every one person you get, you should already be thinking, I need two for this one. If I bring in China, it's not my goal to tell China to go get two. It's my job to dig in China's network and get the two for one, right? You have to really look at this because the real money is in the levels. And I know a lot of networkers kind of teach this, some networkers kind of teach this, but the real level, the real money is in every fourth level. I'll give you an example. I signed up a guy named Terrell on my first level. Terrell signed up Faustin. That was the second level. Faustin signed up uh, a guy named Isaiah or something like that. And Isaiah brought in Austin Goss. Right? Fourth level. I brought in Steve. Steve brought in Greg. Greg brought in Lawrence. Then came China and Jewel, fourth level. Right? Jason is on my first level. He brought in Alex. Alex brought in Ivan, who then brought in David, fourth level. But the problem is most people are stopping on their second level. Everybody's in recruit, 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 recruit mode. Uh, maybe you get 10 personal, maybe you get 30 personal, maybe you get 50 personal, maybe you're a superstar and you can get a lot of personal. That's great. That positions you in a good position, but the real money is not just helping them get two to get their free membership, but it's the level after that. After they get two, if, if, if China gets David and John, the real money is getting David and John to duplicate. And whoever, brought, whoever David and John brought in to duplicate. So you always want to be digging deep in your organization. Yeah, you could be building wide, but just like a tree. If you build a wide tree, we're building a, a business tree, right? If you build a, if you grow a wide tree and you don't dig deep in the ground, dig deep in the soil, and you just grow the tree on land, if wind comes, it'll just knock it over any minute. New company comes, knock it over. Someone blow their account, knock it over. Next thing you know, you're always building, building, building. The real money is digging deep in your organization. Finding someone with just a little potential and digging in their network. Finding someone in that network, digging in their network. Because you have to be moving with speed. Because at any moment, one of these people that told you, yeah, I joined the, to take care of my grandma. At any moment, they can forget about their grandma. At any moment. Right. So you want to make sure you got what you came to get before someone gives up on their dream. If someone's going to give up on their dream, at least you got the two for one to find your superstar. Right. What if Steve never quit? I mean, what if Steve would have quit? What if Greg would have quit? What if Greg would have quit? Right. I would have never been introduced to China. Right. You got to really dig deeper than the f people you're cool with at the top. That's just to get you up and running. That's, just, that's your practice. Your front level is your practice to then go all the way to your fourth level. If you can get to your fourth and eighth level, your fourth, your eighth, your twelfth, ooh, the twelfth, ooh, the twelfth. You get to that twelfth level, you don't even got to worry about that leg no more. Like, seriously, you don't even have to worry about that leg no more. Because you have people that are, are invested into the company either more or as much as you are. Mm -hmm. If you get to that eighth and twelfth level, it's superstars every four levels. So a lot of people are focusing on recruit mode. They're focused on level one and level two when the real level, the real money is level four, level eight, level twelve. All right. So you can build wide. That's awesome. Go get 50 per 100 per, all that stuff, right? Go get customers, all that stuff. But you need to build deep with leadership. You need to find those leaders. Find some marketers in your family. Find some marketers in your community. 
go to local events, find some other marketers, teach people that it's cool to market. I tell people all the time, trading or marketing, either way it go, you're going to win. And if you win either of the or, or other first, you can easily do the other, right? So always be in recruit mode, but know the money isn't there. The money is when you can dig deep, find out, hey, who's your brother? Who does your brother know? And who is your brother's best friend that we could then talk to all those people? But you as a leader, if you are getting recruits, you are getting signups, you now need to look at, you now need to look at every personal as a three for one special. It's up to you for the leader to make sure you're getting more out of that one because people are allowing you to get people out of their network. If you've ran through your list, every person you got is a new list. But it's one thing to tell them, go make the list so they can go through it. If you tell them, go make the list so we can go through it, that's a whole different talk. You, you'll be surprised how quicker people get there too. You'll be surprised how quicker people become IBOs. Because here's the truth before we get out of here. If you're building the business and your organization is 90% customers, right? Your organization is 90% customers. And let's say you have 100 people. That means 90 people are customers. That means 10 people bring in those 90. When the truth is, out of those 10, only 2% are good. So the truth is, three people bring in those 90. Mm -hmm. So you always want to be giving people the opportunity. Because I haven't met a trader yet. Here's the truth. I haven't met a trader yet that don't want to hit chairman. Thanks. I haven't met a trader yet that don't be calling me like, man, I need to go chairman. I haven't met one yet, all right? So you need to know, okay, I am in position to have a free business, learn a skill set, and all I need to do is duplicate three aces. Mm. Three aces. They say four chairmen will make you a millionaire. Four legs of chairman will make you a millionaire, right? That's how you really got to think. Every sign up you get, you need to look at them like, yeah, you cool, you might make it, but let me get to your fourth level. That's how you need to look at people. Yeah, you cool, you might be around in 30 days, but just in case, who do you know like you? Who do you know like you? China, who do you know like you? We need to talk to them right now. And if you ask somebody like, who do I know like me? You mean rich, handsome, successful, smart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Can we call them? Because I want to show them what you just got involved with, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, definitely stay in phase one, but the real money is digging deep in your organization. China, I definitely appreciate you for having me on uh, this call, this team huddle. I'm excited for everybody that's on. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. At night, you could be doing anything right now. Some of you just got off of work, but you care about your future. That's what's important. But now it's time to invest the time, the effort into your future. The system is already there. You already paid your fee. The system is already there. Now you just need to implement effort. These ranks are effort ranks. Effort ranks. That's it. How much effort are you going to put into it? So tying it back to you, definitely appreciate wow. you, all you do. Um, let's go. You already know we're in go mode. That's it. It's go mode. Man, listen, that was amazing, G. I appreciate you as always. Everybody, show them some love. Put them threes in the chat. Don't leave. Don't hang up. We got something special for you guys right now. I'm so excited. G, we appreciate you always. You always drop a lot of knowledge. It's always something I take away, guys. Listen, the information that you just heard is just information unless you begin to apply it. And you really just got to make a decision. Do you want to do this or not? Because some people don't really want to do uh, the building side of it. Some people don't really want to do the trading side of it. So you have to make up in your mind if you want to do it. And if you want to do it, be willing to do what it takes to go through the process. But tonight, I'm excited to highlight some very, very special leaders. These people came into the business as chairman. There's not many people that come through the door as a chairman. As soon as they came in, we really knew that they were chairman bound because of their focus, their tenacity. They were willing to do what it took. And the truth of the matter is they were very new to the network marketing space, but they were not new to business. They were not new to success. They were not new to money. And they were willing to be coachable 
throughout the process so that they can learn the intricate details necessary. And I'm so excited because they're straight up killing the game. They're leading on the charts, the leaderboard chart. If you go into your back office and you look at the leaders for recruitment, the people who are bringing the people in, and they're not just bringing them in. You heard Garrett talk about it. They're digging deep into the organization and they're discovering other leaders along the way and helping to produce more leaders. They're popping ranks back to back. They're on the leader chart, leading by example. So we have to highlight tonight, none other than Beige and Boston, platinum leaders here in Atlanta, Georgia, on their way to Chairman Bound, popping new ranks with Michael Parker that's here in Atlanta as well, doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job. I'm just super duper excited about what's happening uh, in their group specifically right now. So Beige, Boston, if you can go ahead and unmute the line. We want to highlight you, some of your phenomenal new team members. I know that Damien uh, just hit Platinum 600. Michael Park, if you're on, we want to hear from you as well. But Beige, Boston, hop on in here. We're super duper excited to have you on. Let me find where you are so that we can highlight you guys. There you guys go. Come on in and take it away. Congratulations on all the success, guys. Put the fives in the chat for Beige and Boston. Put the five, 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 five in the chat for Beige. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Light it up, light it up, light it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been working, we've been working. <laughs> yeah, absolutely we have. And, and, and um, you know, sometimes it seems as if you can't see a person or hear from individuals, but, you know, it's better to show people than just um, tell people. And it's really been work for us. It's just been a lot of work. We understand the vision. Uh, hearing Garrett speak tonight, uh, phenomenal leadership, uh, Dr. China, you, yourself as well. I believe that you know, we had conversations. We all had conversations. We, we've been plugged into having good conversations with Garrett and yourself. And mm -hmm. we understood that, okay, we didn't come from the marketing background in regards to network marketing, but understanding business and understanding uh, marketing, we listened. And then we took it and we ran with it. Uh, and, and that's really what happened. I think it took us some time and the, the, the very concept, it shaped us. It shaped us to understand that we don't really need to have a clutch. We need to actually go off and do this. And, and I think that's what great leadership is about, really putting people in place so they can actually go off and do it on their own. And by watching the growth process with you all, we were able to do the same thing. We were able to duplicate it and we were able to say, look, we're gonna add what we know into this and make it worthwhile. And um, literally it's just been a numbers game, but it's not only a numbers game, it's about getting deep as Garrett said, and we were looking at, look, who are the all-stars? Who do we have? Who, who is coming in that is extremely excited about this? Who has been here and has been showing their tenacity and their perseverance? And we really want to highlight those people because we want to look at a Michael Parker who has been humble and who's persevered. We want to look at a Damien who has done the same thing as well. And we look at these people, their growth process, um, uh, a Nakia and Joel McKinney, they've been around for a while. And these are people who have been really holding it down, people who have been taking their time learning the skill set but also sharing the opportunity so we just pretty much dived in and we pushed um i really gave a lot of credit goes to my wife because honestly she she had a vision and and when you have a visionary beside you you got to sometimes let them work and, and that's what i had to do i had to step back and said okay if i'm the boisterous one if i'm the loud one in the room if everybody know when boston gets in the room then i need to let her paint the picture and she painted a real good picture. She, she, she really was strategic about everything. And we literally hit the streets running, man. And I'm thankful, um, Beige. I, I, I'm pretty sure you have a lot to talk about. Yeah, so. I remember speaking to Garrett and asking him for the secret sauce. Like, what is the secret sauce to, you know, building and to ranking up? And he was like, well, do the work. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He's like, literally do the work. Do the, the presentations. Do the, the, the phone calls. Do the in-house presentations and the meetings. And... And that's what we've been doing. So for the last, I would say, five or so months, mm -hmm. we've been having meetings at least three times a week. And we've been having outings, you know, in between. And really um, following up with our people, like 550 phone calls to make tomorrow. So we're <laughs> <laughs> doing the work. No, no, no. Give me those papers again so Dr. <laughs> China can really see. Dr. China. Oh, listen, let me tell you something. I saw it with, let me see, I saw it with the fan, baby. I know what work looks like. That's work right there. Yes. You know. 550. So, um, and just on social media every day and being consistent and letting people know that I actually care about them. It's not just about the sign up. I, I truly want to see people win, especially our people. I, I truly want to see people create, you know, generational wealth through streams of passive and in 
passive and, and residual. residual income. And when you care about people, they feel it, you know? And, and another thing is just make your, your environment a vision environment. So I have about seven, eight of these around the house, you know? Yes. <laughs> 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 but, yes. Um, yes. It's real and we're in momentum and we feel it and, and it's all the way to the top. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Truly it is because um, like she said, making it a vision environment, we, we literally have those all over and every day Beige will challenge me because we have a certain number that we need to hit. Every Bye, day, Dallas. <laughs> every day we have a certain number that needs to be enrolled. And, and this is a number outside of the team, outside of the Michael Park, outside of the, the, the so people. So we like challenged Albania. ourselves on June 1st to do six a day until Dallas. So. Six a day. Six wow. a day we challenge yourself. And literally, she would wake up, she had three, and she was like, hold on. Where's your um, three? Where's your three? Where's your three? Are you playing? <laughs> you bring your three in, you're going to have to double that number. Yeah. So we are literally like, look, um, guys, the, the goal is real because we got real numbers by Dallas. Um, I believe that uh, we are, are we definitely going to pop a lot of chairmen, as you mentioned before, with the 50 chairmen. I see chairmen in the making. We're yeah. running this because to me, it's already done. It's just the work that we're actually putting in. It's already been claimed, and we just have to constantly be consistent. You know, um, you know I, I hear many people say this, um, a rising tide floats all boat. And, you know, it's something that it is true. It's a real true statement because if we continue to be a trailblazer, then those that are literally looking at us or those that we are bringing into the business will continue to see the way we work and they will follow that pattern. So it's really been a, a, a real dedication. I really want to thank you guys because we look forward when we look and we see, okay, these are where certain chairmen are. This is where they're going. This is what we got to look forward to. This is, those are the things that I wake up every day and I say to myself, guess what? It's done. Mm -hmm. It's done. It's done. And that's really the goal, man. I'm, I'm really thankful for you guys highlighting this and allowing us to share, you know, our word with the team and let them realize that you too can do it. Perseverance is key. No one, no one does anything that they don't want to do. And Steve Jobs has always said something that you do not have to push a person to do what they love. Mm -hmm. They will actually naturally do it. So I always tell everyone, if you stay consistent, even if you're not pushing as fast as you think you should push, if you stay consistent, you will surely get there. And that's what we've been doing. We've been being consistent. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I tell you what, I'm so super duper proud of you guys. You guys look absolutely amazing. I could just see it. It's a glow of being in that flow. It's something about when you're in that flow and when you just in that space that you need to be in. It's the confidence that just oozes out. And I'm so super proud of you guys. You guys make a, a dynamic duo, serious power couple that's just out here doing big things. And one of the things that's most important is that you know, in order to get to the top of anything, you got to pull people up. Like it has to be a process of developing people along the way because most people don't even believe that they can make the type of money that's available for them to make here. So it's a process. And so I'm so glad that, you know, some people came in, they, they, they had what it took. I could see a leader from a mile away, but they wasn't willing to go through the process because sometimes the process of anything can be a little uncomfortable. You know, a baby, when a baby is getting teeth, as valuable as having teeth is so that you can enjoy the pleasures of food, the process of it doesn't feel good. And so anytime you're developing and anytime you're growing, like it's easy to say, forget that growth, I could just stay here. But when you push through and are willing to go through the process, then you're, you're in a position to reap the rewards. And I'm so excited, not just to celebrate you guys as chairman, uh, but to see the growth and development along the way, see the people that you're going to take with you, uh, see, see who you become. It's like you get to introduce yourself or reintroduce yourself to the world because you become, you know, in this space, you become something uh, that you started off and you wasn't yet. It was in you the whole time, but now the development comes out. And so I'm just really excited when I see you guys on the board, when I see all the brand new people you bring to the team, even when I see you on social media uh, with the different Different, different ways that you market. So guys, make sure y'all go check them out. Beige in Boston on Instagram. I'm not sure if y'all guys got a, a page together on Facebook, but I do know they have one on Instagram and they're always coming up with unique marketing strategies to attract people in a very, very unique way. And you want to really be a student of that. Like always be in learning mode. Like I learned from so many people. I'm, I'm always a student. I love learning. I love being around people that I can absorb and learn from. So make sure that you go in and learn some things that you can perhaps implement into your business um, and, and be willing to go through the process because
the Beijing Boston just told you, it wasn't an overnight thing. It wasn't an overnight thing. They got on the phone, they talked with Garrett. And, and when you have a conversation with Garrett, which is why I wanted you all to hear from him tonight, you, you need that sometimes, somebody to tell you straight up, go through the work. Like, you got everything you need right here. There's no other way to outdo, the, like, there's no substitution for the work. You got to go talk to people, meet people. You know, she just said, they said, three presentations a week. What have we been telling you that you need on a chairman run? You got to be able to do those presentations multiple times a week. And so not only are they doing three live presentations, but I'm sure they're doing two-on-ones and three-on-ones. I'm sure they're even sitting down with some people one-on-one. So when you do those four to six presentations, even if you include a Zoom presentation, that's the behavior for chairman. But think about this for a second, guys. $10,000 every 30 days, $2,500 every seven days outside of trade money, outside of the bonuses that you get on top of that. Is it worth it? Like, how bad do you really want it? Because the formula is there, and it has no respect to person. Like, for real, you don't even have to look as good as Beige in Boston, and if you do the work, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. Like, that's just an added bonus. So y'all better bake off the beauty and get paid off the pretty. If you you coming in looking like a, 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 a Gary Roberts and coming in looking like some of y'all, I see y'all come through with the drip. So you better leverage all of that. But if for whatever reason you ain't got that yet, if you do the work, Right. There is, it's undeniable. It's absolutely undeniable. So I wanted you guys to hear from them. I'm extremely proud of them. Congratulations to you guys once again uh, for the hard work, the consistency, and um, doing what you're doing and, and developing new leaders. And I wanted to, I wanted to add, thank you, thank you very much. Um, you know, I couldn't leave out the fact that I think uh, some of the things that you have done, you have positioned uh, the right people. You know, when we spoke to Garrett those many months back, you know, and he talked about just go do the work. You know, it's funny, sometimes you want a second opinion. Sometimes you want to say, okay, I'm going to bounce it back and forth. And, you know, we, we talked with Chairman Don Wilson, who is a chairman um, under you as well. And I remember her saying, well, Boston, you just got to do the work. Mm -hmm. And uh, when she said that, it was like, okay, you know what? I got, I got to be consistent. I got to get to the belly to belly. And, and one of the things that she showed us is a matter of, look, outside of the marketing, outside of you um, uh, utilizing social media. You have to talk to everybody. She's like, Boston, you already do what I do. So what we got to do is we just got to get consistent. And, and we literally said, okay, guess what? We, we can get together and we can literally just network. Whenever we are at meetings or whenever we're on the street, if I'm somewhere and you happen to be there or we can connect. And literally, uh, Chairman Don Wilson and, and myself or Beige and, and Michael Parker or the team, we went out and we just literally got belly to belly. We literally passed out flyers. We literally left information on people's and business cars. cards. Business cards Absolutely. definitely made it more easy for me to talk to people. <laughs> Absolutely. It, it was an icebreaker for Beige. And, and, and once that door was open, it allowed us to really start packing these uh, trade houses or getting on those three-way call and, and utilizing that PS3. So I really want to give that uh, kudos and, and respect to her because um, I realized that uh, you know there's almost nobody in terms of her tenacity and how she push and how she operate in the field um, and around people it was phenomenal for me to see as well so I knew that well wow you guys all came from this culture yourself Dr. China Dr. Jewel all these individuals and it's good to be able to sit back and be a student and learn while you're pushing. So I really want to say that she was a great um, help in this as well, in this movement. And we're thankful that we have the right set of people around us and be able to tap into some of the leadership that you guys all have been given. So thank you very much. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, guys, we're so super duper excited once again. This is, you're going to hear so much more from them, but not just them. You're going to see the, the uh, residual of leadership through their leaders. You're gonna to start to see the, you, you know, one thing about when you're creating and developing a culture, you can kind of tell the similarity. Dawn has always been a straight up beast when it comes down to recruiting. I remember times when we'll be out and we'll see a prospect and we gotta, <laughs> and I'll be like, I saw her. She said, no, I saw her before she became an adult. No, I saw her when she was at our car. No, I saw her when she was at the house. And so it's just, it, it, listen, when you get accountability partners and you can get out in the field, it really does make it fun. It doesn't make it feel like you're working and you're able to really learn from one another, but you also are able to, 
you know, you may have a strength and the other person may not be strong in that area, but they may be, you may be strong in this area. So you get to work together and really cohesively build something amazing. So congratulations once again, guys. Thanks so much for being on tonight. We just wanted to make sure that we highlighted the team as well as the team leaders. You may not have heard from them specifically tonight, but they represent them. You're going to begin to hear a lot about them. I don't know if Michael Parker is on. Um, I know he just produced Damien, brand new Platinum 600. Proud of him, Michael. If you're out yes, there. Love yes. to hear from you um, as well. Congratulations. I know Michael Parker is close to Platinum 1000. He stepped up in leadership to start doing events. Like All of those things really do matter. So with that being said, guys, thanks so much for being on with us tonight. One second. Super duper excited about all of the success that's coming down the pipeline. If you're not in the Telegram, Breakfast Club, I'm telling you right now, we can't do this on Facebook. We can't do it publicly, but it is lit, lit, lit. And it's a great place for you to do what uh, Garrett talked about earlier, a blitz, a blitz group that allows people to see from somebody else. Right now, I think we got about three, 400 people in there because we haven't opened up the gates yet. Uh, but as soon as we do, we know that thousands are going to start pouring in. Uh, so there is some certain behavior that you have to have in a group because people are going to be able to invite people in that group that you have to be responsible for. But it is an incredible tool, one of the best that I've ever seen. We used these before. We had to stop for a while. And I can tell you right now, if you're ready to put your business, put some gasoline on your business so that it can absolutely explode, go ahead and get the link for the Telegram group. Get into that Telegram group. And um, let's make history together. So God bless you guys. Thanks so much for being on. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs>